Hello internet world, welcome to my unboxing and review of the Withings Sleep Analyzer. This is a clinically validated under mattress sleep tracker. It was very kindly sent in free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm simply sharing this review with you so you can make an informed buying decision. Now a little bit of background, the reason I'm really interested in this product is I like to keep a track on my health and indeed my sleep, but I don't get on very well with a wrist-based uh, sleep tracker or uh, fitness tracker. It just bothers me at night time. I'm gonna be trying a, a, a smart ring at some stage, but this is really unobtrusive because you don't have to wear anything. It's simply underneath your mattress. So I can't wait to check this out. Now in the first half of this video, I'll be unboxing this product in the second half I'll be sharing with you my opinion and my experience of using it after a couple of weeks. Back of the box shows a picture of the app. I have already got the app installed on my phone because I've got other products from Withings that I use. This app is available in the iOS App Store, Google Play Store and also App Gallery and it works or shares data with Apple Health and Google Fit so that's really nice to know. So at least we can integrate the data with Apple Health in my case, and then analyze it and uh, see how I can potentially improve my sleep pattern and my sleep experience. So this is what the inner box looks like once you've taken the outer sleeve off. Inside we have got a quick start guide in English, French and German. It's gonna talk about getting the app installed and how to install the sleep analyzer and some regulatory information. We've also got a full product guide, well worth reading through this. And then we've got the product itself, really nicely presented. It looks like it connects via USB. And let's just unravel this. Well, it's fairly big. I would say that's round about, I guess about 60 centimeters and you're gonna place this underneath your mattress. Obviously, if you've got a double bed and you're sharing your bed with a partner, you could get one each. So there's room for one on either side. So you can get different readings. Very, very nice. Nice, long braided cable. So it seems really good quality. And then in this box here, I'm assuming this is gonna be the power adapter. Indeed, we have got two power adapters in here. We have got a two pin Euro power adapter and a three pin UK power adapter. Excellent, I thought I was gonna to have to find my own power adapter to use, but indeed we have got one included. Uh, this is a 100 to 240 volt, five volt, one amp. So I can actually plug this in just to see what happens. I can plug this into a little power adapter I've got on my desk here just to see if it wakes up and I can indeed then connect it to the app. So we've plugged that in. Is there any buttons? Let's see what it says in the quick start guide. See if there's an actual power on off button. There isn't a power on off button in fact. Whilst I was looking to my left here you can see it automatically turned on and it's appeared in my app. So I can now tap connect it says sensor detected, so that's really good. So this is gonna allow me to install this, it just appeared without me doing anything in the app. So it says place the device under your mattress with the cord emerging from the side. If you use a slatted frame, I think you're gonna to have to place something on top of your slatted frame for this to sit on top of. Uh, under the mattress, place the sleep horizontally at chest level. Uh, remember to keep the device plugged in. Wait for 10 minutes before anyone goes to bed. That's if you unplug it during the day. Um, you can continue installation during this time. So click next. So it says pair your sensor. So we're going to pair. It's going to put a request through via Bluetooth. It says connected. And now it's asking me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I'll blank this part of the video out. So it's now configuring the device. I've got it to connect to my Wi-Fi. Very, very easy. Took under 60 seconds. It's going to configure it. I think it's already looked for updates. So it now says configuring. This will only take a moment. I'm wondering whether I should have placed this 
under the mattress before I started that, but it says stay off your bed while the device adapts to your mattress. Ah, so this is the part where I'm gonna place this under the mattress and get it to do the configuration. Okay, so I've now popped this underneath my mattress and it's going through the configuration process. Just wanted to show you that it has appeared inside my Withings app alongside all the other devices I'm using. And it takes about 10 minutes for it to do the calibration and then it'll be ready for my first sleep tonight. So I've been using this for around a week now and initially, I must tell you that I did have mixed results. Before I go into those results and show you how the data is gathered within the Withings app, I will just let you know, of course, I'm not a medical professional. If you are having issues with your sleep and your health, then please do seek professional medical advice from your GP, hospital, or your sort of specialist consultant. So back to the, the Withings Sleep Analyzer. It's an under mattress sleep tracker. I showed you the pad in the first section of this video and I placed it underneath my really thick mattress. I've got a memory foam mattress which has got multiple layers. It's one of the more modern ones from a very well-known brand and it is on the upper limit of the thickness of mattresses that the sleep analyzer can work under. The first night I used it, it didn't gather accurate data. The second night I used it, I recalibrated it and I also set it to be extra sensitive. Uh, it only recommends you do that if you're using this by yourself, not, not in a double bed, because it can obviously pick up from movements from uh, your partner, for example. And on that night, it picked up better data, but still I wasn't satisfied with the data it was collecting. So on the third night, I actually switched it to be between, so sort of on top of my mattress, and then between me and the sheet and the bed topper that I've got on top of my mattress. It does say in the instructions you can do this and it did gather much more accurate data and it's displayed in the app under sleep quality. Now I don't sleep very well at all lately. So this was really interesting to me. It scores me extremely low, but if I tap into this data, it's very, very useful data because it shows me when I'm awake uh, sort of how long it took me to get to sleep as well. It shows me when I'm in deep sleep, light sleep and in REM. So really useful. Uh, it says the depth of my sleep is good, interruptions none, time to get up, zero, because when I wake up I just get up straight away. Also time to sleep, 26 minutes. Duration, this is where I've got a problem at the moment two hours, 55 minutes, not good at all. It also does the average sleep heart rate, no snoring, which is good to see. And you can also share a sleep diary with your GP or other medical professional. So that's really good that you can gather all of this data and it helps you to analyze and understand that perhaps it's taking me a long time to get to sleep. My issue is the duration, so sort of staying asleep. That's something I need to work on and maybe get some uh, sort of professional advice on how I can improve my overall sleep quality score. It's really easy to use. I wish it worked underneath my mattress, but it wasn't an issue moving it to the top of my mattress beneath that um, sort of mattress topper. So that's a way of getting this to gather more accurate data if you do have a really thick mattress. I think it's really well designed. I like the fact I haven't got to wear something around my wrist to gather my sleep data. And as such, I can highly recommend it. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, hit my like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in another video very, very soon.